just accepted an offer as the Salesforce administrator for Mike Albert Fleet Solutions in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I am going to be the only Salesforce administrator for the company. There's going to be about 150 users. And I'm just excited for the challenges that I'll face, uh, the opportunities to work throughout the whole company uh, to help provide better solutions for for the end users. And the interesting thing about the job is about, it's probably been maybe three weeks ago now, I interviewed with a recruiter and it was for this position. Um, I've This position has been open for about four months and the recruiter didn't think I had enough experience to forward my information on. But what I did after I talked to him on LinkedIn, I liked the company page and the VP of HR saw that I liked the page, saw that I was open to work, that I was a Salesforce administrator and contacted me the next day to set up an interview. And so that happened, I think, on a Friday. Then the following Monday, I interviewed with... Um, three different people from the company and got an offer the next afternoon. My background before Salesforce was in music performance. So this is a completely different world. Um, But I am very excited about starting and I actually start tomorrow. So, um, I've played in the Dayton Philharmonic in Dayton, Ohio for 20 years. Um, And I play the viola and I just, I still love music. I love performing. Um, I've even had the opportunity to perform a lot with Cincinnati Symphony and Cincinnati Pops, Um, go on a tour with them to China. It's really just been an awesome experience. Um, But for the last, the last couple of years, even before the pandemic started, um, I I was getting to the point in my life where I knew I, I wanted something that was going to provide me with more financial stability, but still be challenging and be something that I would enjoy. And a friend of mine who is a flute player uh, introduced, me to, introduced me to Salesforce. Last March, when everything shut down, I immediately started to learn Salesforce um, and spent maybe three or four months learning and then studying. And I got my certification in October last year, but then after certification, I, uh, started to apply for jobs and got absolutely no response for anything I applied to. Um, at that time I had not heard of talent stacker cause I was getting to the point where I thought, well, I'm not going to be able to do anything with the certification because I don't feel like I just can't get anywhere. I don't know what to do, you know, make myself appealing for an employer um, to show what I actually can do. And so I decided to just take the risk of investing in joining Talent Stacker. Um, I love the idea of being able to volunteer. That was the big thing that I had been struggling with before was finding a volunteer project. So that was the main reason why I joined. Um, But what really kind of opened my eyes was all of the information about LinkedIn. It made a huge difference. um, And it really did not take that much effort to make these little changes. Um, And it has turned out to be, uh, be a huge reward because now I've, got the job that I want. You know, if I had known about Talent Stacker in October, whenever I got certified, I know I would have probably had a job by December or January. I'm, I'm excited that I did find out about it. And I'm, you know, I'm thrilled that the, the effort um, that I put into it has paid off very quickly. Whenever I joined, I originally thought, well, I'll give it 
my self-imposed goal was three months. Like I want to have a job in three months. And it took about a month, maybe five weeks. So, uh, so I'm, I'm very, very excited about that. I, I started it. Um, and I think, I think I ended up joining after like day three, <laughs> I was like, yes, this is, th I think this is going to do what I need it to do. Um, it's worth the investment. So I'm just going to do it. I think it was just the way that things are laid out and presented. It's, it's to me, it seemed like it's a very logical approach. The big thing, I think the big motivator for me was the idea that someone could join this with zero Salesforce experience and have a job within six months. That was a that was a huge motivating factor for me, um, and as I learned more uh, learned more about it, I felt like it was actually going to follow through on the offer. Um, that and also knowing that you know if I wasn't happy with it, if I didn't get the results I wanted, you know I could say, hey, I want my money back, <laughs> but. Once I joined that thought never even, I never even thought about that again, because from, from joining, it was literally like two days and I got an email saying, Hey, you're in this volunteer group. It's like, great. Uh, can you join the meeting in four hours? Yes, I can do that. Just the, what I liked about it was the, uh, the promptness of feedback from all of the instructors, um, their engagement, uh, their, the willingness of everyone to, to help each other out. And even everyone that's in the program, I love seeing the questions and comments on the uh, group, um, seeing the encouragement of everyone. And, and that's really important because it's, you know, we're all just in a room in our house in front of our computer, you know, for hours on end alone. And so it's really nice to know that you can reach out to, to friends, other people that are in the same place you are, or, you know, maybe they're not, but they can give you advice. Um, cause they remember where they were at at that point. And so it's, you know, it's all part of the Salesforce Ohana and just, being able to help each other out and, and build off of that as you uh, develop your career and go out into the workforce and still um, be able to offer that support uh, for each other. I actually feel like the experience that I got from the volunteer project helped me the most. It helped me get this job because I was able to, you know, come back and say that I helped create a, a completely brand new org uh, for a company. These are all the things that we did in the project. Um, these are the specific things that I did um, going through it. And uh, I know that I was able to um, talk intelligently about it and let them know what I, what I feel like I'm capable of doing. And at the same time, the things that I don't know, I know that there's this great support system um, through Talent Stacker Group. All of the connections that I was able to make through this are, uh, it's all resources for everyone. You know, we can all help each other whenever we have questions because just because I haven't done something before doesn't mean a thousand other people have already figured out the solution and maybe one person offers their insight into it. Um, and so, so that gives me reassurance that even though I'm not going to have all of the answers, I know where to start looking to help me find a solution for my, uh, company. Uh, one thing I, you know, after I, was offered the job and accepted it. I, you know, immediately went through all of um, Bradley's advice for, you know, how to be prepared on the first day. And, 
And I thought that all of that was excellent. That actually helped me feel much more comfortable going into the role. Thank you. 